Hello and welcome to Friday. <laughs> Brad Shoemaker, you feeling this Friday? Friday. Friday, Friday, you gotta hunt werewolves on Friday. That's the song, right? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Alex, you ready to hunt a werewolf on Friday? Yeah, and I'm ready to quench my teeth on target. Maybe you ready for a werewolf? Ready I'm to- ready. Grr. Also, there's an echo that's happening for me, and it's I can't make it stop. Help. Yeah. yeah. I'll see if I can fix it. Thank you. Werewolf. <laughs> oh, woo. Um, um, what if I do this? <laughs> is this? Is this better now? Was there, Not was there, a, was there a complimentary <laughs> cocaine <laughs> packet that I missed or something? <laughs> Uh, I don't. I don't need cocaine. No, I'm. Uh, I, I'm high on life. This is all natural, baby. Abby, is it better now? Oh. No. Whoa. Are you the only is one getting me? the echo? Is anybody else getting an echo? Are, oh, do, you have, me, do you have? Do you have Twitch open? Audio. Oh, it's Twitch. <laughs> that explains <clears throat> a lot. <clears throat> oh man, that ah, was such it. a nightmare. Though it's like when you have an echo like that, your brain stops working. Yes. Oh my gosh. I. We had stream there's like- apparently some delay happening on the stream, it seems like. Let's see. Hi. Clap, ready? Hi. Everybody? I don't know. We could clap for everybody. Hmm. Hi. <laughs> well, hello, I everybody. I would check, but I have an ad, so I can't check right now. You seem okay to I me would check, here. But last time the stream played it, oh, no, it was bad. Oh, bad. Oh, it was bad. It was bad. Here, let me... Uh, oh, there is quite a delay on the audio. Huh. On the stream? Let me do yeah, the Yeah, I'll refresh it, though, because sometimes that's a thing with Twitch where you just got to refresh it, and then it's fine. Yeah, and I'll See? do this fun thing oh, here. I got an ad now. Okay, I'm going to clap again. How about this? Is that better? Let's see. Perfect. Man, don't you Perfect. love computers? Perfect. That's it? What'd you do? I, I turned off the Elgato and I, then I turned it back on. That's it. <laughs> yes. That's cool. I hate technology. I hate it. Wait, what kind of Elgato do you have that you can turn off and on? The external one. Oh, Got that ex- external one. Yeah, you Got just that, it. Unplug Got it. That external then you plug it. One. I am on a. Uh, before we get into this, I want to. I want to share that it is uh, a warm again here, as it is warm across the world. Uh, but. Uh, the added benefit now of my neighborhood and surrounding county is that we are on a boil water uh, alert, which means that you have oh, to good. any any tap water that you ingest or brush your teeth with or wash your dishes with, you should boil first. Which That's I was just good. thinking, like, wow, what a refreshing uh, uh, boiling water on a hot day. Let's uh, just chug that back. Which I will say, we're fine. Everything's fine. Um, somebody pooped in the water. What are you going to do? But like the, the worst, it, there's apparently some E. coli floating around in that, in that water. Don't oh, drink it. Oh, yeah. No. It's just a little extra protein. <laughs> you know, you'll be fine. Uh, but the hardest thing is like just trying to remember like, Oh, I'm gonna go brush my teeth. Ah, right. I'm not supposed to be drinking water. And I guess the chances of getting out, who, who cares anyway? It's fun. See, you're, you're making me paranoid because Eric Adams just went and did a big thing about like New York tap water. I always drink it. I feel like that is the setup for like someone to just put cholera in the water or something. Like it feels like that is what is coming. New York City tap I water. Will, delicious. It's yes. so good. I moved yeah. to LA and the water here is fucked. It's so weird. Yeah. I had to buy it's a not great water. water filter. I thought, like, doesn't like, LA get water from San Francisco? Doesn't truck I have it no in. No idea. But Pipe it in Northern California, in yes. Case, like, Believe that. Yeah, aren't you? Aren't you drinking that Hetch Hetchy? <laughs> yeah, the Hetch Hetchy. Yeah, but the thing is, there's a long sluice that thing has to <laughs> go down to get Air. from Hetch Hetchy to L.A. And yes. you don't know what's happening there. <laughs> That's a lot of miles of like old and probably very degraded pipes for that water to go through. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's I thinking. know, just a little extra lead. It's not going to hurt anything. I uh, got it. Gotta, it makes the water go faster. You know, just slick those pipes up. <laughs> we are playing Gabriel Knight 2. Is there the audio beast? yet? No, not yet. Because okay. it's just this piano loop that I had to stop at some point. It, oh, okay, <laughs> it was driving it. me bananas. <laughs> okay. Oh, Alex, right. you got you got the business too on the delay again now. Well, you'll oh. figure it out. You'll come back. It'll be good. I'll tell Hi you what. On. I'll disconnect and reconnect. No, you do what you did. That worked last time. Usually, that usually fixes it. Oh. oh, Brad's got the delay too. Yeah, what is going oh, no. on, Abby? Are you? Do good? I have the delay. La, no, la, yeah. la, la, la. you're fine. Great. Okay, great. <laughs> great. All right, I'll be right back. Awesome. All right, see you, Alex. 
<laughs> Let's get started here. Oh, how about now? How about now? No, you're fine too. Do I have the villain? I don't know. What the air that she has in her default pose. She is very. She's very. Uh, I'm back. Concentrate. Hi, Alex. I still don't have audio, but I'm back. Okay, I'll get you audio. I forget. What did we find under that? The rock on the fireplace. Wasn't that the switch to get into the catacombs or like a key or something? Didn't it have like something to do with. Skimmer. Oh, that. Yeah, yeah. I got the screwdriver, I think, and then I shoved the mm -hmm. screwdriver in the hole and then I went in the wardrobe. Oh, okay. A to B to C. Yeah. That makes sense. So, what are we doing with Grace? Why are we she's... Grace? We literally. Just she had that here. nightmare. She had that nightmare about wolves. Oh, oh yeah. right. We're here to bully Gerda and write some passive aggressive letters to Gabriel. Oh yeah, let's go bully Gerda. I feel like Gerda's gotten a bad rap here. What does she ever do? <laughs> I love Gerda, but I love how much they hate each other. <gasps> She's not here. Rifle through her stuff. Gerda's up to. Ooh, good. Why I'll have you say that again, Grace? I like your pronunciation. I wonder what Gerda's up to. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Really embracing it. I wonder what Gerda's up to. <laughs> well, I keep it. getting the delay, bed. so I'm going to try rebooting my computer just in case something on my end is weird. All right. All right. You're going to miss the I'll jacket. Five. Oh, you guys have fun with Gerda. Gerda. Yeah. And the jacket. Gerda. Gerda. Right. Oh, wait. Yeah. Well, don't worry, Alex. This won't be done by the time you get back. <laughs> 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 All right, time to look up like three different walkthroughs. Mm -hmm. mm, yes. Give. Hmm. Slow walk to town. Let's go visit our friends at the bar. Sure. Ooh! Oh, oh yeah! People here. I remember the American. These. Oh boy! Yeah, oh, I boy. remember them. Hello there, dear. Hi, I'm Grace Nakamura from the castle. Am I interrupting? <laughs> you know the castle. Yes, no. Have a seat, <laughs> Miss Nakamura. Well, I might. <laughs> Miss Nakamura. Miss Nakamura. <laughs> Isn't this nice? We just finished our breakfast. Do you want something? No, thanks. Good for you. I can never turn down food myself. <laughs> Now you just tell us all about it, sugar. Oh, I hate her. I love uh, her. I hate her. I want that hair. I want my hair like that. You could probably do it. You could pull it off. You mentioned the other night that you were a demonologist. What is that exactly? <laughs> it's not as bad as it sounds, honey. Oh. What Emma and I really do is to help protect people. Oh, God. Protect them from what? Themselves. Oh, do you believe in the devil, Miss Nakamura? I believe in Democrats. Oh, but Satan and his <laughs> demons are real, and they will attack the living. And most folks don't know what to do once they've been attacked. We try to help protect people. <laughs> How can you protect people from demons? The best protection is faith in God, of course. But sometimes faith isn't enough. Sometimes we have to delve into the supernatural in order to protect others. Your shot and joggers are just the same. <laughs> we are. Uh -huh. Never say that to me. He is. Of course. <laughs> the warriors of light are rare these days, but they do exist all around the globe. That's interesting. I just read about a group called Manos del Sol in Brazil. So the Ritters aren't the only Schottenjägers. Well, they're probably the only ones to use that title, but others have been chosen for the battle. Hmm. 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 So I'm just going to skip right to the Black Wolf. The other night you said something about the Black Wolf. What did you mean? Where did you hear that name? <laughs> I wasn't the one talking. Is it God? I don't understand. Yeah, that's quite all right. The point is, it would be a very good idea to answer those questions, and we must work together to do so. Of course I'll help you, Pumpkin. I'd like to know myself, wouldn't I? It isn't every day one's taken over by a disembodied spirit, and I don't much Brad, care for it. Thank you. What else has she done? About a seance, uh, are you? <laughs> Thank we God. gotta know. Devil's right. I'm much better at tarot cards. I can read for you or for someone else if you prefer. Oh me. 
please. Mm. Ooh, tarot cards, tarot me, cards. Me, 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 yeah. me, 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 Yeah. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt yeah, to do my tarot the poop reading. water. <laughs> yeah. Don't you worry now. Ooh, looks I like there's a little bit of feces in your water. <laughs> <laughs> you might not be shocked to hear that she is from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Nope. Push your vital wow. energies into oh, the she car. was on Young Sheldon. Okay, great. <gasps> So she's still alive. Oh, we're back yes. to this lady, huh? This oh yeah. Welcome back. Is your soul card. Oh, she's done a that lot. Which applies to all of your lifetimes. It's the Empress. Oh, that's a good one. What's it mean? It means that your soul's journey is one of leadership. There's great strength here and intelligence. This card represents what you're like in this lifetime. <laughs> oh, not very good. It's the chariot. Self-discipline, control. You need to feel you have a plan that you're testing your abilities. The chariot's very masculine. In combination with the Empress, it tells me that you're currently exploring your male side. You will seek out great achievement, but it does have its price. Doesn't sound anything like me. Yes, dear. <coughs> well, that's, yeah, that's patronizing. Represents the other. Sure. You've pulled the magician. Who is he, dear? Excuse me? You're right. This woman definitely has, like, oh, this is a very in this performance, like, the most David Arcana. Lynch quality, My I feel other? like, of anyone in this Everyone game. Hmm. She quite literally was in Twin Peaks. I believe it. Really? I don't remember uh, her, but I believe you. Uh, the, the newer right? one. Oh, okay. The 2017 he one. powerful, this one. The magician is dexterous and cunning. It's also a little John Waters That's in this Gabriel, performance right? as well. And, and there's that's probably the hair. And the high powers. camp, yes. <laughs> now this is interesting because your card, the chariot, is all logic and reasoning, while his, the magician, is spiritual and intuitive. You two are quite a pair. <laughs> hmm. The fourth yeah. card shows what you, you knew, have lady. to achieve <laughs> at this moment, your immediate destiny. It's the strength or lust card. Or lust. lust? You don't know? <laughs> Not that kind of lust, dear. Please! It's a trial card. Finding the strength to continue some difficult journey. How many types of lust are it there? It also represents the Several, integration apparently. <laughs> of conflicting energies. That must be your chariot and his magician energies. Mm. Must be. Strength also means bonding those energies. Loving without judgment. Learning to love the beast. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Gotta love that beast. <laughs> what is this trial, dear? Do you know? Sitting down t uh, to get a drink with you two. Well, yeah. Gabriel the real trial is dealing with Gerda. With right now. <laughs> it will be Leave a hard time. She's, she's such a pill. <laughs> you must let your love give you power. Use the positive energy of your union, or you may not succeed. <sighs> I think you have the wrong idea. <laughs> Gabriel and I just work together. Yes, dear. But if I might just suggest... You're, you're warm for his form. Forces, <laughs> the positive energy of love is a very vital weapon. You make yourself vulnerable when you resist your own tools. She's right. Well, that's been helpful. I hope so, dear. I well, mostly just right. support her. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about <laughs> yeah. Ludwig. You said nothing. Do you know anything about King Ludwig II? <laughs> sure, we saw his castles, didn't we, Mother? We sure no. did. Mm, I forgot he calls her mother. Oh, mother. Mother. Uh -huh. I found a letter in the shop. Why do people do that? Who started Ludwig that trend? Black Wolf. Who wrote what, what the letter? Is, I call I call my wife mom in front of the kids. But that's not but one there's no kids here and two doing it this far into your marriage just there's a weird quality to it perhaps you should follow the path something's pointing at look into ludwig i intend to i intend to and usually it's 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 probably when i say it she probably knows i'm being a jerk like okay oh, really? mom <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> You should call her I'm mother and sure see what you she don't does. know anything about the black wolf. Mm. I never did, dear. <laughs> you know, you're like, mm, she, like, no. Uh, <laughs> you yes, vessel mother. With the voice. <laughs> All I remember was seeing a very bright flash like lightning. 
Next thing I knew, Emil had me outside. Whatever it was, it was very powerful. Very powerful. Uh oh. Okay, tell me about Gabriel's tarot. Maybe we should do a reading for Gabriel. Oh, let's! It's a little like spying on someone unawares, but what, what the heck? <laughs> Wait, you could do it when he's not there? Apparently. No, that's not how it works, is it? I think this lady might be a hack. Reach out what? to the cards and to think about his essence. Carol Ann! His soul card is the magician. Yes, dear. It reflects your other exactly. Well, maybe, but I'd rather hold out for David Copperfield. Boom. <laughs> and his he owns an island. Card? <laughs> oh, goodness. The lovers. You mean the sole purpose of his life is in his pants? Wow. Doesn't surprise me. Mm. It's not what you think, dear. It's a duality card. As a lifetime card, it refers to Gabriel's own duality. Good versus evil, physical pleasure versus spiritual growth, that kind of thing. Well, His you could just make these cards mean whatever you want, huh? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> parts of himself. Until he does, he'll never find peace. And you will find peace when you acknowledge all of him. Find a way to love the worst as you already love the best. You're really <laughs> so, reaching. No. <laughs> His other. There's a lot of worst, is a thing. High priestess. Let me guess. That's me, right? No, dear. It's not. Someone named Some kind of Gerda. Gerda. <laughs> yeah. mysteries, deep wisdom. This is a very different energy from your earthy one. This must be our connection. Dear, yeah, clearly, come on. Trying to communicate with Gabriel. Have you not been listening, this Grace? This force is represented by the high priestess. That's not much help. What about the black wolf? But it is a help, dear. The high priestess is a spiritual guide card if ever there was one. The message must have been a warning. If this force is connected to Gabriel, and if he's so very psychic, Grace, just nod. Why it just just nod along. Him? Why say it to me? <laughs> Maybe Gabriel's blocked. Maybe he's purposefully blocking. There is that duality business. Let's go on and see if it becomes. Let's clear. see if we can unclog the him. Card, remember, <laughs> represents the current situation. It's death. Is is that bad? Oh. No, no, it's not that kind of death, dear. Now you just leave interpretation up to me, sugar pie. It's a transformation card. <laughs> she called you sugar pie. That's and she's horny. To another. <laughs> it is painful, but it isn't necessarily bad. Two of wands. Oh my. What? A two is not good here. Wands is Mars in Aries. That's a war card in conjunction with the death card. There are two possible transformations. Two transformations. Is one of them a werewolf? Yes, dear. <laughs> Gabriel is waging a spiritual battle. Gabriel doesn't even the know what city he's in. Good, yeah. <laughs> or evil. Is uh, are there multiple that endings must to this? Be the purpose of the high priest. The, oh. like the, the bad one. <laughs> so I want the evil so you ending. Think I want to turn into really a werewolf. Be in danger? <laughs> oh yes, dear. Gabriel's very essence is at stake. If he takes the wrong path with his powers, <gasps> Emil and I will stay in town. Emil, let me know if anything else happens that's, that we can that's read father. the <laughs> Let the force use you. Now I'm going to have to ask you to reimburse me for the, the <laughs> plane tickets, which we're going to have go. to move. Anytime you need, us, <laughs> stop by. And be careful now. That'll be fifty nine ninety five. <laughs> It's just, a, it's a donation, real. Tell your friends. Oh, she's dead. Wait, she's drinking a coffee in a bar? Wow, I love her little animation. Right now. Nope, nope, nope. Also, I love, like, a husband and wife couple who sits, like, catty corner at a table. They're so far from each other. Yeah, they should at least be lined up. You've been yeah. married that long, you want to maintain your distance. <laughs> <laughs> also, I like that everybody else has left. Hey, what's up, my friend? That's very shiny already. Your bar is great. Hey, Huba. Yes. I guess I'm still that person. 
I was wondering if you've changed your mind about telling me where Gabriel is. It's really important. No. Sorry. Rats. What, what was his reason for not telling her? I think, she, I think he doesn't know. I don't have anything to say to Herr Huber at the moment. I don't have anything else to say to the Smiths right now. Well, let's leave. How about our friend at the, uh... The dungeon man. Yeah, oh, yeah. We, we can go in the dungeon anytime we want, he said. Yeah. Weird offer. I guess they're closed. But the dungeon's open. The fungeon. Uh, Let's go gin. Can we take a little nap? Dungeon nap. Let's do it. Ooh, yeah. Mmm, <clears throat> so comfy. Huh. Von Rolick slept here. <laughs> Why? Still can't tell if those are stains or video compression. I'm going with stains. <laughs> Mm hmm. Why does she have this power? Because it's convenient for the plot. <laughs> I'm out! Uh, I do love her little scoot out of there. <laughs> uh, let's go to the church. Who's in church? Nobody. Nope. More, more people that don't speak English, probably. Let's get baptized. <laughs> yes, while we're here. All right, because so, we, we lost our whole right. inventory. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay. So have a screwdriver. Let's yeah, pry open one of these caskets. Hell yes. Brave Robin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, doesn't want me to. Um, I bet we wrote, a, we wrote a bunch of letters to her. Wolfgang Ritter. Right? So maybe oh, yeah, go, go check the post, the post office. office. Yeah. I have to pay for these, Gabriel. These letters are... Oh! Oh. Oh. I don't want to disturb her. She might be dead. <laughs> no, ah! <laughs> Not dead. There's no what? There's no one there. Ding dong. Bam. Who rings the bell with their thumb? I'm on the point. First finger. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's written oh, it's in crayon. Yeah, that is from Schattenjäger. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I think you... Gabriel is a working partner and... I don't understand a word you're saying, lady. I'm just gonna keep nodding. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Danke. Bitte. Brauchen Sie noch etwas? Uh, yeah. Americans yeah, yeah, yeah. wasting my goddamn time. Uh, sure, yeah. Take uh, take uh, as much as you need. She has masks. <laughs> sure. sure. Uh, oh, I do I have a letter. I think she to just mail. wants you to leave. leave. I don't want to mail that. Okay. So is she asking if I want to mail something? I don't have anything to mail. Wait, what was the uh, last thing she said? Uh, got me. Something in German. My German isn't good enough for chit chat. I think, all I, think I saw she just her say me. was, yeah. All, all I saw was that she said the letter is from the shot. The shot in Jaeger. Danke. Bitte. Goodbye. All right. Shall we read it? What could it say? Gracie, you decided to come over. That's great. Good and tag and all that. <laughs> I'm sure you and Gertie are hitting it off. Guten tag. <laughs> That's the find in the werewolf book. I'm not sure what it all means, but it might be useful. But Ludwig II, you know, I think you might have something there. Oh my god, she's so good. says there are two places you should check out. Ludwig had a castle called New Swan something, and there's a museum about him at here in chemistry. Something like that. <laughs> I really think you should spend some time looking into it. Oh, he's Don't trying worry. to get rid of me. Right. Things are going yes. very smoothly this time around. I've tracked a suspect to a hunt. Why does he hate her and she's like obsessed he seems with him? Okay, I don't understand sure this dynamic. I don't know. This is not the dynamic they Don't had in the first though. game. 
Met really? What was the bad day? Were they friends? It's, it's much more. It's much more I'll like. Sit tight like they snipe at each other, and it's there. very like they give each other shit a lot. It's just very like playful and kind of irreverent and sarcastic. Here? But and no address. Thank you very much, Mr. Knight. <laughs> Mr. Knights. Um. Let's probably ask that guy funny. about where that castle is. Oh, the bartender. Yeah, he probably know. Or the like guy who works at the dungeon. There's uh, there's one minor tip I kind of want to give you. Sure. We're gonna up our score. Uh, yeah. No, oh, no, it's 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 like something very minor. I think changed because you read that letter that you wouldn't think to do. Oh. Uh, anything to say to well, Still, let me just make sure I do. Yeah. So you need to go back to the crypt in the cathedral. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. There, or there be something to do there, but since you just went there, I figured you wouldn't think to go right back. No, I was gonna go home. Oh my! Oh no! Oh right, it was her boyfriend, <gasps> right? Wait, what? I wonder what she's up to. What wasn't her boyfriend? How the old are these tombs? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I thought she, her boyfriend was the old Schottenegger. Oh, that might be true. Yeah, he might be the most recent one interred. Uh. Eat it. So it's like <laughs> that popcorn. <laughs> Gerda was in love with Wolfgang. Bum, bum, bum! <laughs> Is that okay? Boy, do I feel stupid or what? I mean, do I you? I really should apologize, but I don't want to interrupt her. Maybe there's something else I can do. I really should apologize. Okay. Hmm. Maybe there's something How else. How can we I make can her do. feel better? Hmm. How about a screwdriver? Give her some money. <laughs> yeah. Pay her off. Hmm. How about we go back home and then flip her desk over? Oh, let's get her a tarot reading. <laughs> Can we? Is that the might flower actually... shop here or the other place? Must be in the other oh. place. I don't remember. Yeah, here. Flower shop. I think that might have actually been all you needed to do right in there with Gerda. Anything. Okay. I thought you might make a peace offering or something. Oh, there are flowers here. Maybe we can here. sneak back into her room. Yeah, go rifle through her stuff again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah while she's mourning her dead I lover. What kind of flowers <gasps> these are. Okay. We're going back. There is stuff Gant to do here, I will say. Gandas at the church. Yeah. yeah. Crying. Can't. Let's rifle through all our stuff. Let's do it. I'm shocked we can't. Oh, we can. Let's do it. Nobody locks us out of our secret room. First, you I gotta, gotta climb into her room to say sorry. Gotta write another chapter in my book. Dee, 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 all dee, right, dee. To Gabriel. As soon as I have enough info to blow his little investigation out of the water. There you go. We're competing. It wasn't worth. Oh boy, he's got it out for him. All right, let's go in the closet. I love this. This is my favorite mm -hmm. bit right here. Cause you know, it's, it's just a, a, just a closet she had to walk into. <laughs> <laughs> Can I come out now? All right, uh, let's go this way. I don't want to go back into Geta's bedroom. What? She might catch She's me She's at the That's church. That's the fun of it. Crying. Yes, the and... point is she catches you and you make up. <laughs> bom, bom, bom. Scary stairs into the depths. Yep, still sucks down here. Gross. So many spiders. We did this all already, though, right? We got a lot, sure. of, a lot of scene yeah. for... Is there, like, roses here? Like, I'm trying to figure out how we can make it up to Gerda. I like oh, the flower yeah. idea. There were flowers here at some point. Yeah, they're right there. Some roses. 
roses. Boy, really contemplating the space here. Okay. 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 An emergency exit. <laughs> I guess that makes sense right. if you're fighting right, the flowers. Of darkness. Ah. <laughs> uh, I knew it. Just like my relationship with Goethe. Lovely, but deadly. <laughs> Frickly, shall we say. <laughs> I love the idea that roses, they're deadly. You don't want to get your finger cut on one of them. Could be septic. <laughs> oh, thank you for destroying the flowers with which I have been cultivating for years now. <laughs> just, I'll take a couple. She's just going to throw them on the floor and walk away. Okay. Can I take more? I'll leave the other roses on the bush. What do we have to say about these? They're beautiful, but they won't last long in my coat. Is this going to be a whole thing about finding a vase and some water? <laughs> I bet you can just give them to her. She's not here. Can we just put it on her desk? Church. Gosh, do we have to go to the church? Or should we give it to her so she can give it to the grave? Oh, that's so nice. That's what I was kind of thinking. Gabriel said this place was stripped. Guess Gerda's been busy shopping with the new Ritter fortune. We, we, we know too much now. You can't be mean. Yeah. All right. She's in mourning. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Okay. She's at the church. It's a lot of walking around for her. She's here. She's here. She's here. And scene. Ha. Huh. Do it. And scene. Do it. <laughs> I was in love with him. <laughs> yeah, these flowers are from me to him. Nothing to do with you. You know, he hated those flowers. Yeah. That's better, don't you think? Oh my gosh, this is so awkward. <laughs> Drama. It's Gabriel's fault. He never tells me anything. I don't know why he didn't want me on this case. Um, maybe he just... Don't even try to make excuses for him. Okay, take it down a notch. Take it down. <laughs> He's up to his neck in it, I think. Will you help me out with something? I need to poison of Gabriel. Of course. <laughs> I have to do some research on Ludwig. I want to go see some of his castles. Take Gabriel's car. Finally, we've broken through. Mm-hmm. Wow. There's a map of Southern Bavaria in the car. Now, Kiev. Ludwig's castles <laughs> are all marked. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks so much. Good luck. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. <laughs> it's kind of wild that no one has kissed yet. <laughs> it's all subtext. These flowers suck. <laughs> <laughs> he hated roses. <laughs> they're, so, they're terrible. Grace Nakamura. Nope, the flowers. Grace Nakamura. Nope, those are flowers yeah, she again. Yeah, the flowers. She put them right covering his ding dong right there. Yeah, hide your shame. Hide your shame. <laughs> <laughs> I think she wants to be left alone. I think she always wanted to be left alone. She gave you keys to leave. You think this is the sausage lady again? Ooh. I don't want to disturb her. Yeah, she gets Pray around. For the white sausage. Yeah. 
Lords Gabriel undercover. All right, we're gonna get a new area. I'm excited. I wanna look at these car keys. Oh yeah. Gabriel's car keys. He'd have a fit if he knew I had them. If Gabriel, why does he have to borrow somebody else's car then? Do we know? He took a train there, I guess. I think so. Wait, that is his personal car. I guess. Oh. And what a car! He got there and bought a car. Does have a castle? She just goes backwards and crashes it. Ah, fuck! Oh. Wow. Can you just drive in a foreign country with a foreign license? How does that work? I did it in Ireland. I think there's probably some like we recognize some licenses, I guess, right? Or is it like oh. if you're a permanent resident, you just got to get a permanent license? I would hardly, I hardly drive here, so I don't know. Yeah. Wow, look at this! Wow, that's yeah, cool. this is one is of the famous castles in Germany. Yes, it is. That's amazing. Wow, that's so cool. <clears throat> it's like on Wish top of the mountain. People What's it called? Wish von Stein. That's amazing. That looks like a fantasy castle. I want to go. Can we take a field trip? Yeah, let's all go and film another yeah. FMB there. To give you an idea of how, how famous that place is, it's a wonder you can build in Civ Five. Oh, really? Huh. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I've I've heard of it outside of this game before. Neusch von Stein. I don't think the guards um, want to be bothered hmm. while on duty. It's up at the top if you want to see the spelling. Oh, I see. Tour tape. What is that? Click that button. Our tour begins in the entry hall. Ludwig II lived from 1845 to 1886. Ah, uh, now for the Carmen Sandiego he part of this Bavarian game. He the throne at the age of 18 when his father died. Ludwig's passion was building castles. He built three during his lifetime. Linderhof, Herrenchiemsee, and Neuschwanstein. They were finished in Plans his lifetime? fourth castle, Falkenstein, were underway when he died. In addition to his obsession with building, Ludwig also had a passion for classical I'm sorry, this lady is from Minnesota. <laughs> a taste he shared with a German opera composer, Richard Wagner. Neuschwanstein is decorated throughout with themes from these stories, most of which directly relate to Wagner's operas. I don't really go to the opera, though, don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> He's out. Now I can touch everything. Cool. Can we go through that little door? I hope Wait, so. Is playing the tour tape what made that dude leave? <laughs> he got God, I hope so. Where that door leads. He was insulted that we didn't ask him to tell us about it. I wonder where that door Open leads. Open it. Hit, hit it with the yeah, screwdriver. Yeah, only one way to find out. <laughs> it won't let take me. it off its hinges. It won't let me. Okay. These scenes seem to tell a story. We just listened to the no tape. Idea what story? We just listened. These story of a guy who needs a sword. A what? Story, I don't. But I so have no really a story. The ring cycle, right? These scenes seem to oh my tell gosh. a story. <laughs> she wasn't this? listening. No. Oh, that's probably the tape recorder the you have. Paintings in this room are from the Siegfried Saga. There you go. Okay. These scenes are from the Siegfried Saga. <laughs> oh, thanks, Grace. You're so smart. <laughs> oh, I love that. Uh. <laughs> the paintings in this room okay. are from the Siegfried Saga. Do, do it one more time. <laughs> These scenes are from the Siegfried Saga. <laughs> the paintings Make it Charles in Van this Doren room over there. are from the Siegfried Saga. <laughs> These scenes. Okay. Can we do anything else with this? Graffiti it. Yeah. Right, Grace was here. Oh, now you're in this room. Did Did you not talk to that dude? Bed? He said he said you can't. Uh, he didn't want to interact. I don't think the guards want to be bothered. Oh, he's a guard. I see. Yeah. Keeping an eye on these American tourists. <laughs> yes, Fair. he's a guard dressed no. like Howard Cosell. Did they have running water in 1886? I don't know. I don't know. Ask the tour tape. Did they have running water in 1886? Good question. Good job, Alex. The richly carved They had water in 1886. Oh. Resembles a Gothic building in its turrets. 
The bed's draperies were handmade by dozens of Bavarian seamstresses. Did they have <laughs> any Maybe Ludwig thought all this luxury would help him sleep. It does for me. This is the, what my bed looks like. <laughs> Maybe Ludwig. Okay. I don't think the guards want to be bothered. It looks like one of the, I don't know if there's the jackets you get when you win golf. Like the, the master's jackets or whatever. Oh. Hit the tour tape. Wait, hit the tour tape back Ooh. in that other room in the okay. main area for a second. Because I feel like you get a different thing every time you're you in a now scene. standing in the king's yeah. bedroom. Yeah, yeah, you do. The theme of the bedroom <clears throat> is Tristan and Isolde. Hmm. The tragic love story retold in Wagner's opera. The opera was given its first performance in Munich in 1865 and a 20-year-old Ludwig attended. This is probably the most elaborate and expensive bedroom ever created. It took 14 wood carvers four and a half years to create this room. It was this kind of extravagance that bankrupted the king. <laughs> Oops. In the hmm. years before his death, he found it increasingly difficult to find money from any source. Hmm. Weird. I don't think the guards want to be bought. Scenes from the opera Tristan and Isolde. Okay. Ah. Scenes from the opera Tristan and Isolde. I think these are scenes from the opera Tristan and Isolde. <laughs> yeah. What do you think's happening here? A... Looks like uh, they're delivering a baby. <laughs> I thought that was a stork. dragon up there for a second. Like yeah, the storm just dropped it off. Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't think the guards want to be bothered. Oh, on duty. please talk to me. Bummer. All right, let's get the big room first. This is the king's living room. The walls are decorated with scenes from the Lohengrin saga. The king first saw Wagner's opera Lohengrin when he was 16. And wow. it so affected him that he considered it a form of enlightenment. The tragedy of Lohengrin was his essential loneliness. Aww. This too was Ludwig's own fate. Ludwig withdrew more and more into his fantasy world of epic heroes, an absolute monarchy. An ideal he was determined to create in his castle if he could not have it in so his So basically what you're life. saying is that if Ludwig existed in the modern era, he, he would have a rack full of Funko Pops. <laughs> <laughs> That's enlightenment, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> You would bankrupt the country of Germany buying Funkos. <laughs> oh. Boy, they really Why don't do like the guards me. always leave? I don't understand. They've got to do, go on their patrols. Doing their rounds. The miracle of the grail. That is not the cup of a carpenter. No, it is not. It's not really it's even a cup. It's more of like a giant punch bowl. And seriously old. Wow. Sit in the chair. Take a seat. I'm surprised people don't sit in these chairs when the guard's not looking. Now, I know what you want to do, Grace. Take us load off. Your dog's are chair? barking. Rip it. <laughs> Get the gold that's in it. No, nothing? I'm surprised people... Weird. Okay. Nothing else? Tapestry? The tapestries. Nothing? Nothing? There? Is that it? No. This one. That area. Ooh. Swan. Swans. Ah, uh, I want to look at the swan. What does the tour tape consist of? The swan swans? motif is featured throughout the castle, but it is particularly prominent in this room. Both the swan and the lily were symbols Ludwig associated with himself. They represented his ideals of majesty and purity. <laughs> the painting behind the swan shows Lohengrin's arrival. These shelves of Masterpiece Transformers represent <laughs> Ludwig's holding on to his childhood and his inability to let go. Oh. Uh, wow. Hello. <laughs> now the sex dungeon. Sacrificial. <laughs> yeah, this is where the virgins go. <laughs> of the grotto from the Tannhäuser saga. In such places, Ludwig could pretend he was one of his beloved mythic heroes. As the grotto personifies, the castles were solitary playgrounds built for Ludwig alone. He believed 
the masses were too coarse to appreciate mm. fine art, and he seldom entertained guests. An elitist In king? <laughs> Ludwig Whoever had a would think order it. that upon his death, the castles were to be destroyed. What? Fortunately, the estate was in such debt that the castles were opened for paint tours only weeks after Ludwig's death. <laughs> they haven't closed since. I so love that. Why would they destroy it? Oh my that god. The castle that he was thought insane for building are now considered Bavaria's finest treasures. They have paid for their construction many times over. They so can be both. Shit, Ludwig. They could eat they could easily be both. Like yep. oh, I I bankrupted this entire country by building this ridiculous thing. That everybody's mad about. Now I'm gonna die alone. And I said, tear it down when I'm dead. And people were like, uh, fuck that shit. No, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna charge yeah. people to come see your for ridiculous the people bullshit. Now. Yeah. I don't think the guards want to be bothered. I still don't want to be bothered. All right. I can almost Dude. picture Ludwig in here. I wonder what he really dreamt about in this room. No, you don't. Sex. Sex. Yeah. Sex. <laughs> yeah. What is yeah. it? What, what is the Tannhauser Gate from? What? Is, what sci-fi is Runner. that? Is that Blade Runner? Okay. Yeah, that's part of the end speech in Blade Runner. Ooh, look at this room. <laughs> what you thinking about? The study paintings depict scenes from the Tannhäuser Saga in the Wartburg Castle. Okay. This is the king's study. Ludwig spent much time at his desk writing letters, drawing up plans for his projects, and studying his favorite authors. He loved poetry, Do you ever, like, history, and the Do classes. any king stuff? In later years, <laughs> like, also ruling spent the country? country? Spent a lot of the money. Of state he did reluctantly attend to were generally attended to alone at his desk in writing. His reluctance to meet with his heads of state and perform the duties of the king were one of the reasons for the charges brought against him in <laughs> Sounds like a real winner. <laughs> but Ludwig dreamt of true kingship and a true monarchy. And the small powers left to him after Bavaria succeeded power to Prussia only incited his disdain and frustration. Am I supposed All to right, be I'm here? I'm in this scene now. Yeah. <laughs> so, am I, I hit my mark here? Here. Okay. Sorry, I was off camera a little bit. I was here. <laughs> That Jesus? The study paintings depict <laughs> scenes from the Tannhäuser Saga and the Wartburg Castle. Oh. Okay. Oh, somewhere. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. How did we do that? You went in a loop. Okay. I click this. The study paintings depict scenes from the Tannhäuser okay. Saga and the Wartburg Castle. You're just trying to make sure you get the highest score possible. Mm -hmm. I wonder why he was studying the occult before he died. Is that the top Ooh. of the uh, arc from Indiana Jones? You know, like it the... kind of looks like it. What, can we touch it? I want to solve this puzzle. Oh, no tape lady here. Watching. Huh? I wonder why he was studying the occult. Hmm. Hmm. Can you tell me why? I don't think the guards Boo. want to be bothered while on duty. I doubt there's anything left in there now. Besides, the guard would kill me if I touched it. Okay. Nothing but Fabergé eggs. I bet this area would make a good Hitman mission. This castle. Yes. Ooh, do they have a lot of castles in Hitman? That seems like a fun thing. They should. There's like right? one. Castles, you got like dungeons and stuff. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Yeah, there's not an actual literal castle. There's some stuff that's close. What's that one that's on the I island? Wish... That's like kind of a castle, right? Where all the rich people are. Which, like, which yeah. island? The island, like, the... the end of Hitman 2. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Isle of Dale. Yeah. It's kind, yeah, it's kind of a castle, them... actually. Yeah. I want them to start making Hitman like they make Assassin's Creed games where they're all in different eras. Like, I want a mm, 70s yeah. Hitman. Uh, I want a medieval the, Hitman. The, the estate. The Don't estate. In... Like a... Sorry. I was going to say, the, the, the estate in, Paris, in the Paris map is also pretty palatial. Yes, for sure. Um, I feel like I there's leave? a door you did. Go back into that room with the, the desk. Okay. Wait. Or that, there's another door there. Yeah. Wait. God, oh. Hitman with time travel is something yeah, that should happen. This is new. Yes! What does this represent? <laughs> this is Ludwig's private <laughs> That's from a play? <laughs> The king was a devout Catholic, 
as were all of the Wittelsbacher rulers. They supported the Roman Church even when other European countries were dominated by Protestantism. It's a beautiful crucifix, ivory and gold. Steal it. The Black Madonna of Al Totting. I wonder what her story is all about. Hit the tape. Let's find out. I like her little puppet. <laughs> I'm Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> you guys want to see a miracle? <laughs> uh, the glass window depicts Saint Louis. I'll tell you what's a miracle: getting a laugh from this audience. Am I right? <laughs> hey, where are you from? <laughs> the stained glass window depicts Saint Louis. Anyone from Munich here? <laughs> Get out! <laughs> <laughs> so wait, where else did I miss? Oh wait, did I just leave? Oh no, she's gone. Now touch everything. Now touch everything. Oh, swan room. More swan. Okay. So go back in there. Okay. Right behind you, like that thing behind the chair, is that a place you can go? Ooh. I knew wow. it. I knew there was one we'd missed. Hey. The Singer's Hall. It was modeled after the Singer's Hall of the Wartburg Castle, where minstrel competitions were held in the 13th century. The hall was built for small private concerts, but Ludwig himself never gave one here. It is said that during the last few years of Wagner's life, he came to Neuschwanstein frequently and performed for the king alone in this room. The hall is probably best known for its enigmatic wolf paintings. Oh, hello. The original <laughs> paintings were from the Parsifal saga, but in 1882, Ludwig had them replaced, supplying the description and titles of the new paintings himself. Cool. While all the other rooms in the castle show scenes from Wagner's opera, <gasps> The scenes in this room are not from any opera that anyone can identify. It is yet another of the many mysteries associated with the life of the fairy tale. He was a werewolf. He was a werewolf. I don't think the guards want to be bothered. All right, let's check every painting. Werewolf? No, no. werewolf. This okay. little guitar. I love it. It's got a bow and everything. Love it. Damn. Engelhardt Horst Hildegunde. Okay, I like it. Say that three times Ooh. fast. <laughs> You're out of my D&D campaign. Enough of your shit. <laughs> and the I black told you I'm a necromancer, not a wizard. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, you know, don't want to look up the rules on throwing. It's not my fault. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, there must be a story behind these wolf paintings. But what story? You don't have the tape for it? Uh, wait, where's the black wolf letter? So how about this one? Can we use it? Oh. Well, that's letter to Lugwood 2. How about Grace's wallet? Can we buy it? Hmm. I'll take it. <laughs> wait, are these all the same? Ah, so those are all part of one big thing. There must be a story behind these wolf paintings. Can I ask someone about the wolf paintings? Oh my god, so many paintings. The wedding feast of Hildegunde and the Baron. She looks stoked. <laughs> yeah, never seen somebody so happy. Hey, you all right? <laughs> yeah, you, you all right over there? You crying? <laughs> She's crying. No, can't look at these. Ooh. Another wolf. Wolf. What's the story? Hildegunde's imprisonment. Oh, it seems kind of luxurious. Hmm. Hildeg okay. This is the final room. Okay. No. The, hall. the hall is. All right. Ooh. Wow, wow. That's cool. Nice view of the Alps. How do you get up to this castle? Nice hmm. view of the Alps. Very carefully. Ludwig's childhood castle, Hohenschwangau, is visible from the lookout in the singer's hall. Man, I, I'm shocked the castles were finished for him. 
Like three of them yeah, were, the fourth one take? wasn't. That's wild. I thought castles take like generations to build. I mean, this is pretty elaborate. Not if you bankrupt the country doing it. <laughs> I guess not. All right. I don't think the guards want to be bothered while on duty. Is that you it for duty. here? Might be. All right, nothing to do with this. Must be a we did read Being this look at. whole thing, right? Oops. Stop. Stop it. I'm a werewolf. Of March 186. I have heard. I'm a werewolf. I mean, it might just be that you have to go to the castles and I kind of just see what's like going on. All right. You can always come back. Can you go to that door in the back? There are like doors no. over there. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Oh, Fly. you found the exit all right. <laughs> ah! <laughs> all right. Why would you put a door there? <laughs> hmm, we had to go all the way back home to. Oh, no, we did. Oh, that is. It's home. a new. Ca this is a. This is a ship castle. <laughs> it's not a castle. That's a Motel Six. <laughs> so this is the castle where I park my car. Wait, this oh, is wait, just we, where you were. We did go home. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, what's up? Are you still sad? Tough luck. I'm Bye. I'm back. Good. Wow, we're friends is, is now. It, is it good? Are we good? Good. Good. Yes. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> all smiles now. <laughs> Have you heard from Gabriel at all? No, Grace. I'm sorry. He just called to say he loved Never me. Mind. Nothing more. <laughs> what? All right. Um, new castle. New castle. All right, so we'll many skip, castles to choose from. the jacket. Okay. So that's home. Let's go here. It's here. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Museum. Oh, this one you can talk to. Guten Tag. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh. Do it. Come on, Grace. You got this. Wow. Okay. Good. It's a gross sound. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, these are Chuck E. Cheese fun tokens. <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> Lady. wow. Boy. Wow. He freaking hates us. I wow. mean, Grace needed a new adversary, so here we go. <laughs> Get her some roses. Yeah. There's like one more question you could ask her, right? Yeah, I thought so. Good oh, talk. you again. Good talk. Is she correcting us? <laughs> Is that the Ludwig Museum? Yeah, ja, yeah. Ja. Ludwig der Zweite von Bayern. <laughs> okay. yeah. All right. Man. Can I get a tour tape or something? She's beautiful. Uh -huh. hey, did you happen to belong to any youth groups in the 40s? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. One of Ludwig's few close friends was Empress Elizabeth of Austria. She was a distant cousin of the boy prince, and he mm. saw her often growing up. Graceful and beautiful, Elizabeth seemed to represent the feminine ideal to the younger Ludwig. Their friendship continued after her marriage, mainly by correspondence. She remained a source of stability for Ludwig throughout his life. In keeping with Ludwig's love of romance and drama, he called her the Dove, and he to her was the Eagle. Cool code names. I like it. Well, let's find out about all of these. Oh boy. <laughs> no, no, nothing. Oh boy. Okay. No, the lower part because that's in English. In this letter, dated November 1886, Elizabeth of Austria thanks Bishop Frank for his assistance in helping her fulfill Ludwig's last wishes. She writes that she knows it was an unusual request but she believes Ludwig had reasons of his own for wishing it to be done. She hopes that his spirit finds peace at last. Werewolf. No further reference to this letter has ever been found 
one can only speculate what the last wishes of a cornered and embattled Ludwig might have been. He wanted to be pegged. <laughs> what were his last wishes? <laughs> this place is giving me more questions than answers. Hmm. Ludwig's friends were concerned for his mental state long before. Think his these are all real? June like, it's 14th, probably real, right? I don't know. It okay. feels like it's based on some truth. In your last letter, you spoke so movingly of your torment that I was moved to tears. What is this torment? Why won't you confess to me what is truly troubling you? You must know that I would never despise you, no matter how horrible you believe your <laughs> sins to be. Please do not write such barbs to my heart by even suggesting such things. If you do not wish to confess to me, at least tell me how I can aid you. I am always your true one, your dove. Okay. Elizabeth frequently gave Ludwig advice on royal conduct, hoping to protect him from unfavorable public opinion. March 1st, 1865. My dearest Eagle, you have not written me in a few months. I have missed you. I often try to imagine what you are doing. I hear tales that you have been on retreat and have not been seen in Munich for some time. I suspect it is this new friend you wrote up so mysteriously <laughs> that takes you away from home. I hope you are enjoying yourself, my beloved, but I beg you to caution. The people need to see you at the throne. I also hesitate to suggest that what your officials do in your absence may not always be in your own best interest. You have always been a true king, but you must let the people see you to ensure that they don't forget that. E, your dove. Get your shit together, Ludwig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> July 3rd, 1863. Elizabeth, you can have no idea, dear cousin, how happy you made me. The hours recently passed with you in the railway carriage I consider among the happiest in my life. Never will their memory fade. You gave me permission to visit you at Ischl. If the time comes for this ardent hope to be fulfilled, I shall be of all men upon earth the most blessed. The blessed. feelings of sincere love. When you're the king, reverence, you can just write shit like and blessed. Blessed. To you, <laughs> which I cherished in my heart even as a boy, makes me imagine heaven upon earth and will be extinguished by death alone. I beg you with all my heart to forgive the contents of this letter. But I could not help myself. He sent nudes, didn't he? Ludwig. He sent nudes. <laughs> Now let's check his Twitter account. Mm -hmm. They certainly make an incredible looking couple. I mean, he is rather dashing. They I'll give him that. They certainly make an incredible looking couple. Nice they looking horse. Make an incredible looking <laughs> couple. Yeah, they yeah, make look a at really that. incredible looking couple. <laughs> Ooh, how about a ding ding? <laughs> it's more of a thruple. <laughs> uh, let's go back here. Oh hey, wow, whoever they're... that lady is not. <laughs> This really does feel like going through a museum. This, yeah. June 7th, 1886. A group of men arrive at Neuschwanstein Castle, demanding to take the king in custody. With them is Dr. Gudin, the doctor who had been in charge of Otto, the king's mentally ill brother. The men have an order for the king's arrest on the grounds of insanity. They are refused admittance by a brave group of farmers and local soldiers who have come to Ludwig's aid. They are forced to retreat to nearby Hohenschwangau. This is the first Ludwig hears of the conspiracy. Ludwig composes a pamphlet explaining the subversive ADR. acts of the conspirators and eloquently <laughs> pleading with his people for aid. The pamphlet is smuggled out of Neuschwanstein and printed, but the pamphlets are seized before they can be distributed. Hmm. Seems like a nice guy. June 12th, 1886. Ludwig knows the conspirators will return. He despairs. He asks his servant for the keys to the tower. The servant, fearing the king intends suicide, says the key is lost. Unbeknownst to Ludwig, the conspirators arrive at the castle. This time, there is no one to stop them. Ludwig is lured from his bedroom to the entry hall of Neuschwanstein on pretense. There, he is taken into custody. Ludwig is taken by carriage from Neuschwanstein to Berg. Where I like how she has to like Otto load up before she says it every <laughs> time. Take a second. The king's state of mind. While on the way, 
The group stops at Sieg's help to change horses. Ludwig asks to see the postmistress, Frau Vogel. She brings him a glass of water and he says something to her. She never reveals these last words to anyone. A werewolf. June 13th, 1886. At Berg, Ludwig seems cooperative and coherent. Dr. Gudin writes to the government that he has Ludwig well under control. The two men go out for a walk, and Dr. Gudin is so confident he dismisses the guards. When Ludwig and the doctor do not return after several hours, a search is undertaken. Whoa, this the is bodies fascinating. The of the two men are found huh. in a lake, drowned. Huh. Circumstances unknown. Huh. Interesting. So I assume this is all real? Yeah, I think almost I think all so, this yeah. is like real history. Yeah, I actually just sent all of you a picture of Ludwig courtesy of the chat, in case you're curious. Mourners. The service is held at a packed St. Michael's Church. Lightning strikes the church during the service, but no one is harmed. Ludwig's body is entombed in the Wittelsbach crypt at St. Michael's. His heart is placed in an urn in the pilgrimage chapel at Altading in the Wittelsbach tradition. The urn is shown to the right. His heart is in an urn. <laughs> How bizarre. How bizarre. How bizarre. <laughs> How bizarre. <laughs> all right. Huh. I like how captivated we've all become by this whole universe saga. <laughs> and genuinely interesting. I might go look this, this up this, after. It's now exclusively a Ludwig II Street. <laughs> I have no idea what that's. There's says. no monarchy in Germany anymore, though, right? No, no. not since the not, not since the Kaiser abdicated after World War One. Mm. Uh oh. Is he oh riding God. a wolf? That's the sleigh for my dream. Oh yeah! Remember that? What's Maybe that dumpy fucker doing in it? <laughs> I have to ask someone. This thing is getting too weird. Talk to the tarot Who? lady. Who's is, is that, Mrs. Smith? Oh my gosh. Maybe Mrs. Smith will know what my. The midnight sleigh rides. Ludwig went on long sleigh rides in the middle of the night, particularly in his later years. It is said that he suffered from insomnia, headaches, and toothaches. Well, that all and sucks. The rides soothed his restlessness. The sight of the king's grand sleigh speeding through the countryside of the Alps often startled the peasants and became a superstitious omen of ill fortune. I can see why. But what was he doing out there at night? A toothache. They were trying to sleep with a toothache? Yeah, they Ludwig didn't have melatonin back then. <laughs> ah! Death mask. Ludwig's death mask. Death mask. Neat. Wow. Ludwig's. Put it on. He's beardier than I imagined. Oh boy. December 14th, 1881, Linderhof. Order another work by Jennings on the occult. Write urgently to Klug, saying that I insist that the stoppages by the bank cease. I want it, and therefore it must be done. Write very urgently. <laughs> like you fast. must succeed at once, and then must report to me urgently. If I give orders to clear my room, doing so must not be postponed as it happened. Pencils must be pointed without special orders. The day after tomorrow, a thousand marks. How is Louie now? I want to know whether he looks unhappy. Kind of all over the place this here. This sounds like when my kids hit that, that autocomplete on like a, yeah. when they're in like the notepad thing and they just hit autocomplete and it writes a sentence. An hour. <laughs> if any more correspondence come from Louie, they are to be burnt immediately. But I am to be informed of their arrival. All right. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to look some of this up later. These yeah, I'm fascinated. These notes from Ludwig to his servants. They go far in showing the king's state of mind. They were smuggled out and used as evidence in compiling the order for Ludwig's Narcs. arrest. <laughs> December 18th, 1881, Linderhof. Every day get up earlier for certain. See to that very particularly. Write it down. Remember that when the great friend arrives at Neuschwanstein, we retire to the hall. We are not to be disturbed. I will not the tolerate great interference or insubordination. Are we editorializing with the underlining here? Because uh, I'm not saying it here yeah. unless there's some kind of other German uh, mm -hmm. way to underline something. All right. One, do we have one more place? Or should we just go talk to Mrs. Smith? 
Can I get this? Ooh. Ludwig is Prince Charming. He played the part well. Hmm. Okay. Nice little boots. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Have you all seen that picture of Johnny Cash, I think, I with big boots like those? Her. Yes. I love that it's picture. It's so good. Oh. <laughs> What? It's so good. People keep posting it on Twitter because, like, you, it looks like normal picture of Johnny Cash, and then you click it, and then you've got like these big long boots. <laughs> Straight up thigh high boots. Yeah, <laughs> it looks incredible. Is him like up against a tree? Yes. Yes. Wow. Aren't they great? It's pretty serious. <laughs> well, there's a bunch of photos of him like that. Here's one of him in a boat. With the big boots. Big boot, yeah. Johnny. All right, I this learned is... all your Ludwig shit. <laughs> what? Now what? Oh, where'd they go? You can talk to the bartender. Maybe he's got something to say. Oh, yeah, maybe he's got something to say. Where'd hey, the you Smiths know, like, go? The tarot cards. Hey, Huba. Yes. Yes. The Smiths. All right, talk Are your the shit. the Smiths in their room? Yeah, I believe so. Could you ask them to come down, please? Oh, yeah, not too late. Uh, <laughs> waiting. Wow, I sure did learn a lot today. <laughs> now you just tell Merle what's going on. Yup. I don't want it. I had a dream last night. I didn't remember it at first, but... I saw something today at one of the museums. What was the dream? Oh boy, here we go. Now we're in David Lynch territory. In the woods, by wolves. And I saw a sleigh. Ludwig was inside. He pulled me up, and I thought I was safe. But then he turned into a wolf. It was very literal. Mm. So what do you think, mother? <laughs> A dream Sounds like some kind of wolf dream. Is a spiritual guide dream. The high priestess in Gabriel's cards must be linked to Ludwig somehow. What do the wolves represent? Wolves. I'm a psychic, dear, not Freud. But the warning I got was about the black wolf, wasn't it? And the wolves in the dream. It must be the same danger. <laughs> it's so frustrating. The more I find out, the more questions I have. Why don't you try a little communicating of your own? Ludwig, yeah. the link, appeal to him. Yes, talk to Ludwig. The answers may not come right away. Yeah, call him up. At least you'll give the guide something specific to say the next time she contacts you. Isn't there any way that you could, <laughs> you know, do a psychic reading on Ludwig or something? To tell you the truth, I've been trying all day to make contact. <laughs> but I only feel... Great despair. You guys, I'm a fraud. <laughs> if I only had 124 more dollars, I might be able to do something for you. <laughs> I'd better go. Anytime you need us, stop by. And be careful, huh? Thanks. Stop bot? <laughs> Look, they're unofficial subtitles, okay? <laughs> we have them at all. I don't have anything else to say to the Smiths right now. All right. I don't have anything to say to Herr Huber. <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed for myself. Maybe this guy? Maybe we can go back to the archives. Where's the letter from Frau... Grace Frau. Nakamura. Who is Frau the last... Grace Nakamura. <laughs> There's like a letter that we are missing, right? You might be right. Are we? Ah! Guess they're closed. Maybe yeah, now's the, the time to write the letter. Oh, to... To what's his face? Yeah, since you did learn a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah. Let's talk to her while we're here. Nope. To ask okay, you. let's not. How do you write a letter? You go to the oh, typewriter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here we go. Giant type. Him. Dear Jerkface. I'll write to Gabriel. 
soon as what? I have enough info. All right, not enough yet. Okay. To a museum to and a castle. All right, what do we got here? Museum ticket. Oh, that's fun. Oh, okay. A little souvenir. That's the old fun. scrapbook. A ticket to the Ludwig Museum. Why do I have that? Okay. Maybe I can ask somebody about the museum stuff. Hmm. Yeah, what is this to do? Let's ask. It's everywhere, I feel like. What? I'm not. I'm not sure why she. Okay. Maybe I mail that to. Uh, I want to mail that Ticket? so he know. Yeah, so he knows I went to the thing. <laughs> yeah, Showing off a little. Game. Even by adventure game standards, I'm not sure. I think that one's a little far fetched. All right, let's go. Let's go to our dungeon where we can make contact with people. Let's touch, let's touch the bed. The little window. Didn't he say he slept here? Did he or did someone else? Von Rollick slept. Oh, Von Rollick. That's Von Rollick. Von Rollick. Can't remember who. Is that a, just a different nobleman? That's the werewolf they caught back in the day. Right. right. Oh. Okay. That's the bar. I don't want to go there. Hi. I'm just going to ring the bell. Do I have any more letters? Ding yeah, let's dong. annoy this woman some more. <laughs> Hi. Uh, yes. This. I don't want to mail that. <laughs> yes. Mail a screwdriver. This. I don't want to mail. Okay. Well. Damn. I think you should have one new lo one new location left, right? Oh, there is one. Yeah. Really? You haven't been. Okay. Okay. Let's go check. <clears throat> Maybe I missed one. It was the castle. And the museum. The museum. Yeah. Wait, have you been to the Wagner Museum? But this is the. No. Is that the Where's that? Oh, wait, it's not on here. How do we unlock it? Maybe, maybe we have not unlocked it yet. Do I need How to talk to it? somebody here? About I don't know. Hint. Oh, my God. Everywhere. <laughs> oh, no. You missed everything. All right, let's start with the giant castle. Yeah, the smallest place. Hi. I don't need to mess with the guard. Sorry, my bad. I think there's some more stuff you have to do before that becomes available. Alright, break this. I picked up a tour tape in English on my way in. Okay. Did I miss anything like where somebody would tell me about a museum? There was that uh, one you should door be good. right there. Should be good. Should be. What were you going to say, Alex? Yeah. Because well, remember, there's that door right in front of you. You looked at it. was like, I wonder what's back there. But then yeah. you never... I wonder she hates like, you probably can't, but... All right, I'm leaving here. Maybe we got to okay. come back to it later. Yeah, I'm leaving. All right. How about here, Brad? Should we go back to this museum? Oh, I think I think you're good in both. Okay. Please. All right. I'm going to go back to the yeah, church. Where do we go? Let's go to the church. Church over here. Sure. Mm. Yeah, that's always good for a laugh. Disturb. <laughs> Anybody in the crypt again? Boyfriend's still dead. Really <laughs> Those look better. Jurgen Ritter. Okay. These coffins are real. Okay. All right, nothing here. Maybe she wants to know I went to the museum, the old lady. I went to a museum. You like museums, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can use my Should. ticket. Works for all day. <laughs> I believe you have some Gerda stuff. What? All right, I'm gonna go what? Back. What? Who's talking to us? What's over here? Nothing. Wow. Yeah, Gerda was like, you can't bother her. I don't have anything to ask you. Uh, maybe not. Hmm. Has she told you about a phone call so have... far on the stream? No. 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 Hmm. We just made up and then nothing else happened. Wait, did she not tell it me that? It was an applied uh, kiss. Oh, wait, no, Gabriel didn't call her, right? No. We can use the phone in the office, maybe? 
Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk to Professor Barclay. Maybe he'll be like, go to the Wagner Museum. It's in here? Got a phone? (laughs) I'm not sure what other case books would be relevant. Whoa. Whoa. Can y'all hear that? Sorry. Oh, yes. that's big. That's a big one. Let's call my man. Professor Barkley will call when he finds what? out something. No. It wasn't worth picking up the first. Mm. I feel like there's got to be stuff that we missed at those places. Yeah. I mean, I didn't look yeah, at actually, enough pictures. I, think, I believe that's actually the case. Okay. Uh, Fast travel. Did you do some stuff with a diary at Helen Kimze? No. Schloss okay. Ritter. I think that might be what you missed. All right, let's go diary it up. Okay. This old it's battle axe. <laughs> Got to show my ticket. Is yes, it her diary? Is that what she's reading? <laughs> Underneath portrait here. Of, let's see. Reference, reference to Ludwig's diary under under a portrait of Wagner. Huh. Is there a portrait must of must be an area we haven't been. Oh, is there the Somewhere door in. behind there? Can you go there? Oh. Is mm. that ain't Wagner? No. What is? Uh. Display room two. Like that class case there? That's the death death mask. mask. Oh, right, right, right. Um, Must be missing like a whole section. Oh, wait. There it is. Wow. 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 Ludwig's Grand Master wardrobe from the Knights of St. George. Hmm. Ludwig and Wagner. Wagner. Ludwig loved the opera of his contemporary Richard Wagner. He helped support Wagner's music through much of his life. Ludwig considered Wagner a close friend, often calling him <laughs> friend. Oh. Wagner encouraged this infatuation, some believe, for personal gain. <gasps> Typical artist. Whoa, <laughs> Grace. Um, oh wow. The diary. Ah, there's the diary. Even after Wagner's death, Ludwig still showed signs of obsession with the composer. This letter, written in 1882 by Ludwig to the conductor of the Munich Opera, instructs the conductor to make preparations for a new Wagner opera. The conductor went to see the king as instructed. When he arrived, Ludwig was ill and refused to see him. Nothing further was ever heard of this mysterious new opera. Was it a figment of an ill man's desperate wishes? Hmm. I don't know. It's all very mysterious. Ludwig is offered a crown of laurels by the genius of immortal fame. Aren't we all? 26th July, 1874. By the power of the lily, we shall have the strength to resist all temptations throughout the whole year. This is his diary? Apparently. 26 July, 1875, solemn oath before the picture of the great king, refrain for three months from all excitement. This is him saying, I'm going to stop jerking off, right? (laughs) Yes. As well as its potency (laughs) by De Parleroy, LNR, DPLR. What excitement. (laughs) I need to see more of that diary. Maybe we can ask. Hey, that feels like an important sound cue. Ludwig is Grand Master of the Knights of St. George. The Knights of St. George was an aristocratic society dedicated to the acts of chivalry. Like a hunting Ludwig club. loved the medieval pageantry of the order in his early years before his increasing reclusiveness drove him to abandon public appearances. Oh, like Elvis. Wow. <laughs> Look at Elvis. He looks so regal. Why would he give up all of this pageantry and become a recluse? Okay, Grace. You've never been online. Ludwig, yeah. <laughs> Grandmaster of the Knights of St. George. There's got to be a connection between all this St. George stuff and Gabriel. Does okay. there? So we did. Oh, boy. Oh, Richard Wagner. 
Uh, that's a real mm-hmm. severe looking guy. <laughs> Ludwig, the original diary is kept in the royal archives. A few entries are shown on the opposite wall. Okay, so we need to go. Gotta see that diary. Gotta see that diary. (laughs) Wow, okay. (laughs) Ludwig's diary. The original diary is kept in the royal. All right, so now we should have uh, hopefully a new nothing. Oh, we got Okay. Ludwig's Tagebuch im Museum? Ja. Wo kann ich Ludwig's Tagebuch hier anschauen? Die Tagebücher sind ganz persönlich. Die sind in den königlichen Archiven. Niemand okay. darf die lesen. Aber nein, niemand darf die lesen. Jesus, Lady. <laughs> <laughs> There was like one more you thing just lose you could ask the other her about. Yeah, you have I'll another t- option. I'll talk to her again. I have a ticket. No tickets. Guten Tag. Nah. Guten Tag. Oh, we're, we're okay. We're cool. We're cool. In Museum S. Einen. Brief von Ludwig über eine neue Wagneropa. Ja, ja. Ich kenne diesen Brief. Wo kann ich äh, mehr von dieser Wagner-Oper sehen? Ja, ich weiß nichts über Wagner. Das hier ist kein Wagner-Museum. Ja, ich weiß. Ja. In Bayreuth <lacht> befindet sich ein Wagner-Museum. Versuchen Sie es halt doch, ne? Bayreuth. Danke. Oh, we have mutual respect. <lacht> I think she was literally just like, does this look like the Wagner Museum? Oh, really? Not literally, but like, that was the attitude is maybe. I don't have anything. All right. Oh, we gotta get that diary. Ooh. Oh, there ah. it is. Hey, what's up, friend? Grüß Gott. Guten Tag. Is das die Wagner Museum? Yeah. Huh? You're an American, aren't you? I am afraid the house is closed this time of year. It will be open next month. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm in America. You are interested in Wagner. Very interested. Very recently very interested. Yeah. Most of the house is closed for cleaning, but uh, a few rooms are open. I shouldn't let you probably, but... I'm a naughty German. <laughs> It's only you. <laughs> you are alone, aren't you? Endlessly. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> almost in and look off. I too am very That's alone. That's very generous. Um, what do I owe you? Georg. Georg Immerding. Oh, it's only a few displays. Besides, I wouldn't be much of a um, shining knight if I charge you. Thanks, Georg. My name is Grace. Hello. Have a good time. Or, you know, as good a time as you can have at the <laughs> Wagner Museum. <laughs> okay. Steal everything. The piano. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> the ring. Uh, the movie? Yes, he, he wrote the yes. movie on here. You hear this opera wow. and seven days later you die. <laughs> <laughs> Do we read it? We get points. Franz Liszt, composer and Cosima Wagner's father. Franz. Richard Wagner. Is that an underbeard? Is that like just wow. under? It looks that... like it. King Neckbeard. Look at that! Wow. Wait, do we have to read Literal the sign to get strap. points? Wagner's piano. On this piano, the maestro composed his later operas, including *The Ring*. An old sofa. <laughs> Isn't that like the ring cycle when it's performed? It's like a three-day ticket. It like go to the go back. The death of Wagner. I believe On it. Ash Wednesday, eighteen eighty-three, Wagner suffered a heart attack in a Venetian gondola on the way Aww. to Saint Michel. His wife and the gondolier carried him into a church, where he regained consciousness. Wagner died four days later on this sofa. That's so no, funny. Just, the soul in the you sofa. Yeah. You haven't saved in a while. 
I'm gonna. Okay. I see. I see a lot of notifications. <laughs> Wagner. I, like, I like the idea of a safety save. Safety save. I'm hearing from a lot of people in chat. Wagner was a, a bit of a racist. Oh yeah, I heard that. I heard that as well. Wagner's death mask. Oh yeah. The great patron himself. Eh? A mirror. Ludwig as the classic. Oh no, she's a vampire. <laughs> Man, they love their dust masks here. They sure do. A portrait given as a gift from Ludwig to Wagner. Okay. Whose mask is this? Oh. Ludwig's death mask. I thought we already... Did they make a couple a of death masks? One. Okay. Yeah, they can make a couple. June 10th, 1881. Munich residence. Great friend. I am writing to you in the middle of the night. My blood is pounding too wildly for sleep. Tonight's performance. How can I describe it? I am. I truly love the idea that Ludwig killed. was basically Perhaps like the progenitor of the K-pop stand. If it is hope, <laughs> you have given it to like me. Like he's just he's so obsessed with this music. Years. It is like we consumed his life. <laughs> Something happened during the music tonight, but I must have your absolute confidence. Did you guys hear that new Wag As Wagner song? Come at once. Oh, Jesus, You're Ludwig, chill me, out. Ludwig. <laughs> Oops, there's another one in there, wasn't there? Yeah. July 1882. Great and beloved king, Monsieur Beaujolais and I have finished the diagram. We checked the figures many times, and Monsieur is confident that it will work. <laughs> Eight identical fixtures are to be made from the diagram and placed in the theater exactly as specified. I'm sending the diagram with your courier. Be full of hope and have courage. All will be well. Your own, Wagner. Okay. Your so own death, Wagner? They take a cast of your face after you're dead. Is that what a death, death mask is? Yes. Okay. Your own personal <laughs> Wagner. Oh my God. He was shrunk. This must be a model of Wagner. I made one of those theater. in fourth grade. Come on. <laughs> Smash this it. This must be a model of Wagner. I mean, there's a lot of rooms open here. Should have paid. Costumes. Opera costumes. Opera costumes. Apricot. Yes. These look like production designs. I don't see anything that looks like those wolf paintings in Neuschwanstein, though. These look like production design. I don't. Okay. These look like production. I don't, I don't know if there are no actual wolf paintings like in that castle. I don't know if that's real or not. Oh, that was made up. Why? Well, been meaning to ask y'all how okay. much how much money would you bet that when we finally see a werewolf transformation in this game that it's going to just be a straight up like 90s morph animation oh, like, uh, uh, like an animorph yeah I'm gonna I believe say, you yes. I would, that would be amazing and I would love that but I was thinking it would probably be um, I hadn't thought about it but I would say it's going to be a cutaway and you come back and there's more hair cut away come That's back possible. and you're a werewolf it could be way lower budget, but... <laughs> I feel like the werewolf is going to look like a real wolf. <laughs> the, Didn't uh, we kind of have a werewolf transformation in her dream? I don't remember what it looked like. It just kind of... She looked away and then looked back and it was just wolf guy. Oh. Have we, we haven't found the diary yet, right? That's what we're no. looking for? Did Not you this look hand. at his couch? His hand? I did look at his couch. Oh, that that couch. That's kind of crazy. Death the couch. Death of Wagner. Yeah. Couch that <laughs> I'm just saying the, the Michael Jackson black or white video oh. Sleepwalkers morph effect was mm -hmm. super popular at this time. They don't have good. the budget for that. I guarantee uh, you. You're, you're probably right. Is there a secret panel on this? Is it like the room? This must be, this must <laughs> be a... No. All right. How do I get out of here? Hey, where's the... Is there a basement? Where's the diary? Well, he wouldn't have the diary, would he? What are you doing he? here if the museum is closed? They always like that was care really care accusatory. This is a job <laughs> for me. I can uh, soak in the atmosphere of the maestro while I compose. What are you composing? 
This? Oh, a new arrangement. One of Wagner's pieces. For the Beirut Opera? <laughs> no, no, no. I am only a student uh, at the university. Dude, you're like 40. I study music, uh, <laughs> composition, conducting. Old people can be students, Alex. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You're right, you're right. I'm being too judgy. Here. He's a student of life. Is there much of a call for conductors in Europe? Ask my brother. He is the conductor for the Munich Opera. Boom! Well, Flex. that's convenient. Does that mean you get free opera tickets? Yes. I get a week's pass to the Opernfestspiele, the uh, opera festival in Munich. It starts in a few months. Hope I'm still around to see it. Come with me. I feel like we're like. flirting with if this guy. If you're still around, uh, I can go backstage. With everybody. And, uh, all sorts of things. I'd love that. If I'm still in Germany, I'll call you, all right? Yeah, good. Yeah, I'll Today. call you. Don't call me. That's, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Tell me about Wagner. He was a character. <laughs> he spent most of his life trying to convince rich patrons to subsidize his work. Unfortunately, he had expensive tastes. You see, he believed that someone of his genius deserved to live well. Can't argue with that. Can argue but a little Ludwig bit. Ludwig II supported him, didn't he? Yeah, sure, but Ludwig came along very late in Wagner's life. By then, he had already been run out of Venice and... Uh, <laughs> uh, can, you, can you get closer to the mic? Cities <laughs> of death. Ludwig saved him. And the music. See? Yes. Best thing Ludwig ever did. Wow, best thing Ludwig ever did, huh? Do you know anything about that letter from Wagner to Ludwig in the display case? The one about the diagram? Ah, oh. no. <sighs> Some sort of equipment for Ludwig's theater. <sighs> but I don't know why Wagner would have cared about this. If he was worried about any theater, you would think it would have been his own theater here in Bayreuth. Hmm. Wagner, a werewolf. Have you ever heard about the letter that Ludwig wrote to the Munich conductor in 1882 telling him to prepare for a new Wagner opera? You're full of surprises. <laughs> for an American. Oh, what I am. What do you um, know about it? <laughs> stop it. <laughs> no one knows anything about it. It's like a treasure map, you know? Oh, it's probably a complete fairy tale, but uh, it does make you wonder. We're going all national no treasure. Idea what it could have <laughs> to. Yes, the, the, you gotta steal the opera. With Ludwig? The wild thing is, this guy in this one little bit role in this is like by no far concept. the most natural actor in yes. this game. He's, yeah, Dreams he's really doing a good job. Music students. Hmm. Have you ever heard about the wolf panels in the singers' hall at Neuschwanstein? Did my brother send you here? <laughs> no. I want to meet this guy's brother. Probably not. It's only the letter to the conductor, the wolf panel. Oh, my brother thinks I am crazy because of all my theories. What theories? <laughs> this is I, I shouldn't. No, I shouldn't. <laughs> if there was Have you ever a heard of Infovox? A lost <laughs> if you could find it to a conductor. This would be like finding King Tut's tomb. But people have looked for it before. If it ever existed, it is gone forever. <laughs> my brother says I waste my time even thinking about it. Oh, your brother your sounds like a real asshole. Yeah. Let's keep talking about this. I'm curious. Is there any other information that points to the lost opera besides Ludwig's letter and the wolf panels? <laughs> this guy's the worst. No, no, I'm no. I'm not even supposed to have seen it. You see, my brother says that Wagner was too egotistical to have produced a lost opera. If he was working on something new, every person in Bayreuth would have heard about it. On the other hand, it was in Ludwig's character to have wanted a private opera. But it wouldn't have been private. Ludwig's letter shows he intended it to be played in Munich. Yes, but that it would get so far without Wagner telling others? Why keep it a secret? Maybe there was a very good reason for secrecy. <laughs> a werewolfy reason. <laughs> for example? Like... Mm. <laughs> 
Never mind. Now it's, now it's my turn to be coy. Yeah, I shouldn't. I really <laughs> shouldn't say. I sh Here I go anyway. Uh, I don't have anything to ooh. ask Georg about at the moment. Wagner souvenirs. Don't think I need any of those. Weren't we looking for a diary? Can we find the diary? Can we go back I in? I don't think that's here. I don't think the diary no. is here. Not sure Georg would want to see. They said it was in the archives. They said it was in like the, the Ludwig yeah. archives. Oh. Oh. Yes. We have, we have to go back. So where is that? Is hint? Do we miss it? That's we not here. Something. Huh. Oh boy. It's a lot of blinking locations. It's probably in Neufenstein, right? Uh, I'm going to go back here for a sec. Just make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't okay. Have anything. Nope. All right. Let's go back. But here. It was blinking, wasn't it? Yeah, they were all blinking though. Let's go back. More exhibits we missed. Let's talk to. I don't nope. have anything okay. to ask. What the heck? Maybe we can write a letter. I don't know. Oh yeah, maybe now we can write a letter. I feel like we're not done yet. I feel like the letter will be the last thing you do to switch ever. over, like the transition piece. Yeah, that would make sense. Oh, gosh, I, I forgot. Like Gabriel. There is definitely something to do in the library that we haven't done. In like here? all of the guides to do Can first thing in this piece, chapter. Maybe? You mean in this room? This room? Um, I don't know if it's this There's room. Nothing else on... I'm not sure all of them say it's like... Hang on. Oh, oh we found something. Probably this. <laughs> Whatever this is. I wish I could read these biographies of Ludwig. Wait a minute. Yes, Ludwig this is it. The second fairy tale king of Bavaria. I it's the only one that looks like it's from 1970. Yep, <laughs> English. <laughs> I found the one paperback. Hold it close. Or let I it go. love it. Okay, so are we going to actually read it? Oh boy, here we go. Buckle up. Wow, this cover. Are we going to read this whole thing? Let me see that cover again. Throughout his life, oh. it is a hunt. What are you doing? Man. I was wondering, wanted everyone to see yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the Screech cover again. Screech, King <laughs> of Bavaria. Written right. by good old Dickie Chaphill. Ludwig remained throughout his life both very bright and very naive. He was an introvert who seemed to be constantly out of sync with traditional views of rulership, money, and human relationships. The world ever failed to match his ideals. Perhaps this was a fault of his sheltered upbringing as future king. He never was introduced to the real world, and the real world failed to interest him as an adult. In his youth, Ludwig was in fine physical condition. <laughs> New file. <laughs> but yeah, like audio quality just right randomly right changes all over the place in this game. Lodge, Shawhan, I think it's a testament how hard it is to keep audio the same on different recordings in different days. Take it for advantage. Take it uh, for granted now. And his leg was yeah. truly damaged. He never fully recovered from this incident, and his hiking and riding ceased. Hunting lodge. His physical health deteriorated from that time on, and explains why he looked so unhealthy in later years. A hunting accident? Huh? <gasps> Other than right. his long-standing friendship with the Empress Elizabeth of Austria, and with his mother, the relationships Ludwig attempted with others were nearly always a disappointment for Aww. him, and a bewilderment for his partners. He would become obsessed with someone, a singer, an artist, a nobleman or a peasant, and would bombard them with gifts, praise, and favors. When they would fail to return the depths of rapturous passion he required, the singular adoration and humble obedience he expected, he would grow disappointed and cut himself off from them. The objects of his interest were occasionally women, Usually ones he fell in love with after seeing them in idealized roles on the stage. But they were more often young men who fit his fantasies of the heroic sagas like Lohengrin and Parsifal that he so loved. I know that, like, this dude's secret in the game is he's, like, maybe mm -hmm. a werewolf or something. But, like, mm -hmm. his real secret is, like, <laughs> this guy's gay, right? Right. <laughs> like, he's right. Gay. Historically, I think it is understood that he was, at the very least, bisexual. Mm. Okay, him a and this is great friends. <laughs> behavior and relationships is the following letter from the Kerninglik Bayerisch archives, which this author was privileged to access. It is dated 1864, and it was written by Ludwig's manservant, Paul, to a friend. The king has been in high mood these days. The reason, of course, is a new interest. Thursday last, 
the king attended a performance of Lohengrin in the Wittelsbacher Theater. He came back in a fever, demanding that a man be found. The man, it was gathered, had been sitting in a box across from Ludwig and had drawn the king's attention by his beauty. Clearly, he was just looking for a new traveling man. to the performance. <laughs> the king declared that here at last is a sensitive soul. The man was tracked down and brought in for an audience. Upon my word, never have I seen any mind so in line with his majesty's own. They discussed Wagner and France and Byron and all manner of things until long past dawn. The young man, beautiful indeed to look upon, met the king's enthusiasm and knowledge bit for bit. Okay, is this going to be the guy from the hunting lodge, the, our his friend? His majesty has been in the thick of it Or a since. descendant. And while I welcome his good temper, or aunt, or I grow tired of fetching letters back ancestor. and forth to Louis, so-called by his majesty, that should tell you who the young man looks like, at all hours of the night. This author has not been able to learn much about Louis, but he was known to have been a seemingly Louis! high foreigner, <laughs> and he was involved with Ludwig as late as He kept as saying he wanted to dip his balls in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Louis. <laughs> the king, especially later in life, felt a great deal of guilt about his sensual nature. His diaries are full of repentant entries begging God for forgiveness and swearing to remain pure. In many of the diary entries, he swears to abstain from sexual relations. Mm. The number of these oath entries indicate that Ludwig was not very successful in resisting temptation, yet it is also clear that Ludwig was a God-fearing man and that, though his flesh might occasionally fall, he never surrendered his heart and his conscience to sin. All right. Oh, well, it was now. the uh, audiobook portion of the game. Yeah. Ludwig had a boyfriend. I like <laughs> a couple. It sounds handsome. Louis. So let's ask everybody about Louis. You know about Louis? I don't Louis? have anything to ask oh. you to write. All right, let's go to all the museums. What do you know about this? Ask Louis. people about Louis. <laughs> okay, so let's start with here. Or is that the one place that wasn't blinking? I think that was the one yes. place it's like, <laughs> yeah, that was we're the good. Only one that was not. <laughs> but I, I like it. Nope. <laughs> happy to be back with the mean museum lady. Okay. Maybe that guy knows something. Yeah. Seems to know everything. Louie? I don't what? have anything to ask. Is there stuff in the museum we can go poke around with? I'm not sure Georg would want to see that. Let's see. Is it, we can't go Oops. back into the main part of the museum? I think I can. I just clicked the wrong way. Okay. Let's go this way. I'm back. Okay. I think we saw Can you everything. Click on now. that thing, that one. Ooh, that was new. This. Oh, Whoa. ah, this is the diagram. It looks like, oh, is an it like a stage drawing of a, it's a container werewolf. The Wittelsbacher Theater, München. Every square inch is measured. Yep, that's like how every... <laughs> blueprints work. <laughs> it's a letter from a Monsieur Beaujolais, dated September 1881. Looks like he's discussing acoustics and mm. sound waves and crystals. Oh, sorry, sorry, those are blue blue types. Are already <laughs> built. Why would Wagner be worrying about acoustics? Interesting. Is that it for him? I wonder. I feel like this. Oh. Wagner's desk, exactly as it was on the day he died. God, complete don't with leave all the blood. Just don't leave my desk that way. It's rather yeah. simple, considering the grandiose stuff Wagner composed here. It I wonder if it houses a secret. We didn't get anything, right? All right, do we ask no. the guy about... I wonder if that's that it. Uh, I'm trapped. <laughs> Help! How do we leave? Help! It's just like a real museum. You can't get out. Gotta hit the bottom. Uh, I don't have anything uh, to ask Georg about all right. at the moment. I feel like we got it. It's probably just the desk. All right, let's see. Does it still blink? What? It does. What else could there be? <laughs> it's just peeling out and coming back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Storm pass. Donuts. 
<laughs> All right. We're looking for something about Louis, right? Maybe there's mm -hmm. more Louis here. That... Okay. June tenth, eight. I'll just click it again, just in case. July eighteen eighty two. Be full of hope and happy. Okay. We got another death mask. Ludwig's death. Okay. It could be this. that like a portrait given. There might be stuff elsewhere we need to do and then come back here. This must be a model. Yeah, I'm guessing, looking at this guide, I'm guessing that just because it's blinking doesn't mean you can do what you need to do there right Great now. Stuff. Mm. Okay. Like someday we'll have something to do there? I'm not sure. That's just a guess. Yeah. All right. It's like I, I see something on here you need to do at the Wagner Museum, but you don't have the item. So. Mm. Where? Okay. Item says to me you need to go somewhere and get a thing, and since Neuschwanstein is the one place we haven't really gotten anything from, I wonder where that door leads. But we, I bet that's that door is important. I feel like. While on duty. Like, do we have to do a? Is this like a maze sequence where like you have to wait for nobody to be here? No, definitely not. Okay. The paintings in this. The paintings in this. Now leave. Go. No. Now. Uh, this, go. I believe. If, I, I, I believe this guide said there's a there's a whole other location you haven't even opened up yet. What? Really? In the castle? Yeah. I don't have anything to ask. In the castle. No, 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 no. no. I mean, another oh, place yeah. to go to. I think. Let's go to town. Should we explore maybe. the castle more? Where do we go? I don't know. It's it's hard to like piece together what has and hasn't been done here. This guy home yet? It's like you never did get that phone call from Gerda, right? No. I don't think so. Someone keeps saying look at the book again. Okay. Mm. Oops. Read in the town square. It's kind of nice. Richmond's like, Chapel. Is that a thing? All we... the way. Maybe to, like try going all the way through the book again. Wait, the phone number. Oh, there's a phone number in the book. Oh, should we call this guy? It seems like too many numbers. Hmm. Something to do. Yeah, Europe, has, Europe has a lot of numbers. Do, do. Okay. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. We're gonna go. All the fancy lad who wrote this book. Here. We're gonna go here. Ha. Ah. I'm not sure why I'd want to call the biography's publisher. Hmm. We need to know information. Well, that wasn't helpful. Is his number can somewhere you... in the book? Yeah, can Who's you like number? open the book again and look at the number? Oops. Oops. Yeah, can you like click on ah. the number? Ah. Ah. Let's see. That's the publisher's number. Okay, keep just keep skipping through it. Okay. She hates chapter. Whole chapter six. Yeah, she doesn't like chapter six. You keep okay. You keep missing something at the Wagner Museum. Is something that I see. Uh, you're supposed to do that, but maybe you have to do something first. Okay. I don't know what we would be missing at the Wagner Museum though. Like I feel like you've clicked on everything. It's a big museum. Not that big. <laughs> yeah, this just says, look around the museum at everything and talk to Kaorg before you leave. That's all it says. So maybe you didn't click on something? Them? Wait, but the bug? Okay. Let's do it. Oh, sorry. This museum, not this museum. Got it. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Is there somewhere else to exit to from here? Is there like a phone? That know, leaves. Like Wait, what's this thing over here? Oops. Yeah. Too late. Can we look at the what's in the other glass case in this room? Opera costumes. Apricots. Oh right. The apricot case. These look like pretty panels. These look I don't see. Right. Mm. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. Let's 
beautiful picture. Good patron. Okay. Ludwig as the classical mm -hmm. Greek hero. Okay. We can go back and look at those wolf paintings in the um in that room. She was really interested in those. Wait a minute. Go back. Go back to the Jorg. <laughs> the guy, the guy standing there. Yeah, go back to him. German George. Is hey, there work. anything on his desk you can click on? Hold on, I gotta remember how to get out of here. You're trapped. The oh, German. there we go. Bingo, bango, bongo. There it is. Mm. We crack it open. What's that book in the case? That's a diary. Cosima Wagner's journal. It's locked up for preservation. Huh. Crack that seal. <laughs> just happens to write, to ask just happens to be right here on the reception desk. Cosimo well, knows Wagner's wife, I think. She probably just talks about him in her journal. You know, I bet she had other things going on in her life, yeah, Grace. You ever yes, think about that? Yes. Cosimo God forbid she had her own interior life. Yes, Grace. I don't. But is that it? Wagner souvenir. Like books. Not sure Guess so. That might be it. Now what? Wagner Suvin. I guess leave. Finish <laughs> it. Let's see if it still blinks. It's still oh, blinking. What the heck? How? I'm gonna look at the other desk here. stuff. God, I'm spending so much money on gas. I know. <laughs> Oh god. No, it's the other way. It's the other way, Grace. This way. No. This is the weird chapel. Okay, this way. This way. There was that chair did you play the, look at for no real reason. Did you play the tour tape in every single room? I think Pretty so. sure. Yeah, this is a reproduction. Yeah, we definitely played it in here. It is This is, the is there a tour study. tape on the door Ludwig that you can't go much in? Time at his desk writing I don't think so, because I can't get a close-up of it. can't zoom into the door, yeah. Studying his, his reluctance to is there his head a tour state. tape no, there was on this, the chair? Th there was a zoom-in for that, wasn't there? I don't think there must so. uh, Oh, maybe there was. Not for that door. I think it's faster if I just leave and come back. You might be right. <laughs> Yeah, tour tape. Tour tape. Tour tape. Oh, okay. Thank you. Tower, I think this is the one we didn't do. The king was making his way to this very door when he was arrested in. I don't know if this is the thing, but it, we didn't do that one. I wonder if Ludwig really meant to throw himself from the tower the night he was arrested. I want to go up the okay. tower. Why is that part of the tour? Should we see if we uh, ticked it off our map? No. No. Yeah. I keep seeing people no. say try calling the professor guy at Yale. I don't she I don't know if that is anything. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. Okay. Got... Nothing. I'll try calling everybody again. Maybe now we triggered something. I hope so. Grace Nakamura. Nothing else. There's nothing I'm not sure what other... If I okay. if I'm reading this right, you will get a phone call. You won't you Oh, calling. you won't do it. Okay. So no here, right? I'm um, not sure why. I... Okay, and not here. Oh, god damn this game. Okay. Oh, hmm. no idea what triggered that. Wow, what what's he typing now? on? What is that fanciness? Oh. Hi, Professor Barkley. Like the flattest typewriter I've ever seen. Oh, good. Uh, <laughs> it's a I word a processor. It's here, Joseph Dahlmeier. And uh, he specializes in Bavarian history, and uh, I think he's somewhere near you are. Herr Josef Dahlmeier. Great, got a number? Yeah, I do. It's uh, 4982-555-2234. Uh, Thanks a lot. Sorry about the bother. Uh, that's no bother. Uh, when are you coming back to school, Gracie? When I figure it out, I'll let you know. Well, be good. Is this guy someone's dad? Hey, you know what? I was going to say he's not the best actor, but it's the most no. realistic phone call probably in this whole thing. Like, that's what somebody would sound like. Eh, whatever. Oh. Yeah, whatever. Well, here's a guy. I don't know. <laughs> so now we got a new Wait. location. Call that number. Call that number. Oh, yeah. Schedule a, a thing. 
Yeah, you're right. It's in our thing? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Got excited. All right. Here we go. Ah, paper. Dramatic phone call music. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, with that Ludwig Hello? picture. Hello, sind Sie Herr Josef Dahlmeier? Yeah, you must be Grace Nakamura, the American history student. Your accent yes. sucks, that's how I told. <laughs> You're interested in Ludwig II. Very. Good, there's something I want to show you. <gasps> Drive to Berg on Starnberger See. Meet me at the Memorial Chapel. All right. Thank you. Oh, wait. Uh, was there anything you wanted me to look into before we meet? like this? <laughs> well, I was hoping you knew something about someone called the Black Wolf. He was a contemporary of Ludwig's. He lived in Prussia, I think, and he was well-connected. Uh, never heard of him, but I'll check. See you there. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Oh, you guys are all terrible historians. All right, let's go check out this new place, and maybe then we'll wrap it up. See what's is, in is, is, is Von Rolick the, the person they think is the Black Wolf? Von Rolick was the werewolf they caught before. Right, but is that the same werewolf as the Black think, Wolf or no? I think they're uncertain, but it could be. Mm. A lot of oh, werewolves shit. to keep track of. Let me make yeah. sure I talk. Oh, no, 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 no. Just want to make sure. Grace. Okay. Okay. Or Gerta. Okay. Gerta. Gerta. All right. And back in the car. Ah, ooh. Meanwhile, at the site of the crucifixion. <laughs> Whoa. Grace. Get inside. Wow. Just to walk all the way there in real time. <laughs> That's how I walk in my dreams. <laughs> That's a nightmare. Yep. That's not a dream. It's all a right. memorial <laughs> chapel. It's a memorial. All right. Keep walking, I guess. Grace. Dude, dude. I can't move. <laughs> <laughs> Keep walking and getting nowhere. <laughs> this church is cool, though. Hmm. Anything here? Benches. Nice overlook. Seems normal. The fuck are they where he crucifying Aquaman over there? Grace. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yosef. Didn't mean to start on Are you wow. a speed wagon? Oh, he's got some Paul Reiser hair. That's good. I should get mine cut like that. I feel here mm. the most, you know, more than at the castle. So, what did you want to know? When you say feel him, what do you Whoa, mean? We got Professor Barclay says your hobby is Ludwig. Yes. He was the last real king that Bavaria had. That's a Bavarian and a history buff. Well, that's enough to hook me right there. But there's more, right? He was a romantic, you know. A dreamer. And he was misunderstood, maligned. And... Sounds like you can relate. Me? <laughs> Hell, I have it easy. At least I live in the 1990s. The best and years. not every eye in the country is on me. But, yes, I can relate. Should we go through all these now, or do you guys want to do this next? I think we should do I this, mean, and then we should wrap I'm, it. I'm sorry. Did somebody, uh, somebody else have something to say? <laughs> that was the no? fakest sounding bird I ever heard in my life. Look <laughs> 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 it going. You know about Ludwig's diary, right? Of course. How can I get my hands on it? <laughs> I'm sorry. I have been trying myself for five years. They keep it locked up tight in the Royal Archives, and they don't let it out. They must think it contains things that will hurt his image. They won't let anyone see it, not ever? Well... Only one person outside of the government ever got to see it, a biographer, so Richard there you go. Chapel. He had friends among the German royals, and they let him look at it. And Did now he's dead. contact Chapel? Pick his brain? Eat it? No. That, I don't believe I never thought of that. If you do and you find out anything, you must share. It's a promise. <laughs> Unless he's a werewolf. Wow, Grace is really big on making promises to Germans she has no intention of keeping. <laughs> right. Right after I go to that opera with my other friend. I don't know yeah. where to start. There's so much. Politically, the most significant thing about Ludwig II was that he signed over independent Bavarian statehood to Prussia in 1870. 
Mm, yeah. Bavaria became a part of United Germany, and Ludwig became a figurehead prince under the Prussian Kaiser. Why do you think he did that? Bavaria has been involved in the Hundred Years' War. People were tired of fighting. Prussia's push to unite the German states made some amount of sense. Still, Ludwig must have had other options. At the very least, he should have negotiated better terms. So what was the real reason? Ah. He was manipulated by Bismarck. At least that's what I think anyway. Hmm. What about Ludwig personally? Microphone. <laughs> You'll find two perspectives on Ludwig. The view the tourists get is the romantic ideal, Ludwig the tormented loner. Then there is the historian's point of view. Ludwig was plagued with guilt over his sexual orientation and was driven mad with self-loathing. But I take it you're not buying either point of view. <laughs> well, it's all too convenient, isn't it? That he was a devout Catholic, there is no question, and I'm sure there were pressures on him to be normal. But he was no prude. He loved Byron. Mm. Yes. Philosophy, the French court. If anything, Ludwig was too much an egomaniac. He didn't give a damn what anyone thought. I go my egomaniac. He tried to hide any of his relationships. <laughs> Delicious. If he suffered from anything in his romantic life, it was disillusionment. No one loved him back as purely as he himself loved. <laughs> You're right, Grace. Astonishment. Well, <laughs> it wasn't sexual guilt that tormented him. What was it? I don't know. His diary was filled with self-guilt, but I'm sure it's not about that. If I knew, I'd write my own book, set the record straight, so to speak. Okay. What do you know about these midnight sleigh rides? That's doing have cocaine, you read right? About Ludwig's midnight sleigh <laughs> rides. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would that have been something? To be out at night and suddenly see him sweep by with his entourage? They say the night agitated Ludwig and that being outdoors and the rushing feeling of the sleigh calmed him down. Sometimes even the sleigh wasn't enough. He would stop in some remote woods, order his servants to stay put, and go wandering off by himself for hours. Did this by any chance happen on full moons? <laughs> okay. Now we're getting in. Tell me about Bismarck. Oh, Bismarck. He was the Prussian Kaiser's Chancellor. Not a nice man. Bismarck had a reputation for learning people's weaknesses and manipulating them. It's a matter of record that he had spies on Ludwig's staff. He may even have had a henchman. Tell me more about Ludwig's staff. <laughs> and he was involved in the conspiracy to declare Ludwig insane. Okay, Black Wolf. Did you find out anything about the Black Wolf? I did. What did you find? I read about him before, but I hadn't realized that was who you were talking about. His name was Godin. Paul Godin. I found a reference to his being called the Black Wolf after you telephoned. I've never heard of him. Who was he? Godin lived on the fringes of the Prussian court. He was handsome, charming, dangerous, or so they say. He was variously rumored to have been a foreign prince, a Prussian spy, even an assassin. Since you were interested in him, I found out some things that are probably true. <laughs> It said he came from abroad in the mid-1800s, but claimed high German blood. Do you know where he came from? No. And he was ruthlessly ambitious. He probably found out who held the power, Bismarck, and offered his services. Bismarck was a good judge of talent of that sort, anyway. Okay, tell me more. Mm -hmm. What else do you know about Godin? He must have done something remarkable. Bismarck was not a generous man. He liked to string people along with promises, but rarely came through. He did for Godin, though. He gave him a royal title and lands in 1863. And that was the last reference I found to him. Well, how could he just disappear? Uh, it's not that unusual. Back then, when you were given a title, you usually changed your name and moved to a place where no one knew your past. So you could act with impunity. Or uh, be a pompous ass Hell and yeah. get away with mm -hmm. it. <laughs> <laughs> shot, is there any way to find out what Godin was called after he got his title? Is it that critical? It might be. Well, you could send away for a copy of the entitlement deed, assuming it has destroyed during one of the wars. Godin's new name would be on it. 
but you would need a research permit from the government to access those records, and they can be very hard to get. A lot of red tape. Great. Okay. What do you know about Ludwig's hunting accident? A couple of years ago, I was introduced to this great old man, a real old world farmer. Well, his grandfather was Richard Horning, Ludwig's equestrian. Oh, he told some great Ludwig stories. Sometimes I get lucky. <laughs> anyway, he said that after the hunting accident, Ludwig got terribly ill, that he had a fever and was acting mm. crazy. They were afraid that the wolf had been carrying a disease or that the bite had gone septic. A wolf bit him? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not so unusual. There were a lot of wolves in the Alps back then. The servants were really worried, but Ludwig recovered, oh. physically anyway. Horning's grandfather said it was the fever that broke Ludwig's mind, that he was worse than ever after that. Ludwig was a werewolf. What? How? What? What is pointing what do you, you mean towards Ludwig that? Got worse after the accident. Oh, what a gut feeling. <laughs> Ludwig always had been a very private person. But after the accident, he got darker. Why are we whispering? <laughs> There's no one around for miles. Aquaman. The guy's head. Chambers bent over so they couldn't see his face. Horning's grandfather said his temper was fearsome. He would fly into a rage at the least mistake. Must have been terrified of Yes, him. well. Horning's grandfather felt sorry for Ludwig, and Ludwig hated his own violence. He was always giving gifts to his servants to apologize. Kind of sounds like an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> you mentioned that there were other reasons why Ludwig's servants feared him. Ah, that's another of Horning's mysteries. There's a story about Neuschwanstein. Apparently, there was a period of time of two or three months when Wagner would come and visit him. Wagner? There. Yeah. The two would lock themselves in oh, the Oh, come on. We've, 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 we've been through like seven the museums. From there were awful. Well, the servants had superstitious minds anyway. Some of them quit over it, just walked away. What kind of sounds? Horning's grandfather called them heartbreaking and ungodly. Maybe it was Fogner trying don't, to sing. Well, <laughs> someone was singing, but I don't think that's... <laughs> well, I guess that's all for now. <laughs> Thanks for your help. It's my pleasure. And if you ever want to talk again, mm -hmm. just give me a call. I'll meet you down. I will. Thanks. Servus. Well, bye. Wait, what did he say at the end? Sehr gut. Service? Sehr gut, I believe he said. Sehr gut? Oh, that's Cerberus. What does that good. mean? Oh, that's very good. I wonder what it felt like under there. What? The water? This is where they drowned? This is where they drowned. Have you never been in the water before? Is, is, <laughs> is he imagining what it would be like to drown? I wonder what it felt like under there. That's... Grace. Okay. I wonder what it... Okay. Alright, she keeps wondering. <laughs> All right. Uh, wait, go down that path. Can you go down that path in the middle? No. No? Okay. Oh. No. Now for the long walk back. Where? Oh, that's... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> We're just going to go back home. Please talk to me. Just go to bed. Just going to bed. Yay. Finally. Gerda. Yes. <laughs> I know something you don't know. We're friends, right? <laughs> uh huh. Does that give me special permission? Gerda, do you have any idea where I could get a government research permit? I don't have time for a lot of red tape. You should ask Herr Übergrau. He can maybe get such things very fast. You think? I was going to write Gabriel today anyway. Yeah, you were. <laughs> All right. Let's end it there. Let me save it. Can you not write the letter yet? Oh, I probably can. You think that that's the end of the chapter? I don't think. Let me check. There's so many blanking spots. How can we write the letter? Oh, there is. There's definitely more after you write the letter. Okay, I'll write the letter and then in I'll this, save it. In this chapter. That seems like a good spot. Okay. I'm not. Uh, just write, right? I should get a letter off to Gabriel. Mm -hmm. I need to include a note to Ubergrau about the research permit. I have enjoyed this, like, tying it into history and finding weird gaps in history. It's a part I used to really like about Assassin's Creed when they would do it. Like, oh, mm -hmm. this thing uh, could have gone this way. You never know. My only, my only problem is that this chapter has just been such an info dump. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we needed some... 
puzzles, at least. Some good characters, though. Nice handwriting. That's true. All right, go mail that letter Is so it? you don't forget about it. Okay. That might... I maybe want to stop here. That might, like, lock you into another sequence of events. Okay, we'll okay. remember. You, Look at this. You do that. Yeah. Here we letter? go. Just write, we write in the save. Mail that letter. Exactly. Uh, search museum. Okay. Just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like, I guess so. <laughs> Boy, that one went over. These are the jokes, folks. <laughs> oh, mail letter. <laughs> well, thanks, everybody, for joining us uh, for today. Thank you, Abby. Thank you for having me. Let's search the museum next time, okay? Okay, smart. Good move. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure to keep that... Uh, <laughs> Uh, in top of mind. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Brad. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be back next week. Next week, we've got the watch cast. If you're trying to keep up on the Patreon, it is the next two episodes of Star Trek. Yeah, Alex? That is correct. Um, which is uh, so far out of four episodes, my favorite episode of Star Trek, which was the uh, Naked Time. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll also have some more of this, more Gabriel Knight. Abby, you're good next week. Yeah, I think so. I'll awesome. be here. You won't want to miss it. You won't. No, want to miss I gotta. It. We gotta search that museum. And I think we're gonna do some more of that Star Trek 25th anniversary game uh, and get everybody else killed. Make sure they, nobody's left on the Enterprise. Hell yeah! Uh, yeah, watch oh, them all explode. Yeah, it's pretty dark. You, it, yeah, <laughs> search the museum. All right, everybody, take it easy out there. We'll be back next week. Have a great weekend. See ya.